Hi guys, welcome again. Today I'm going to show you how to make amazing, smoky, lip smacking, chewy seitan ribs. They are so delicious, you won't stop eating, I promise you. So as always, uh, two attachments in my case. If you can, that's great. If you don't have a dough attachment, not a biggie. Of course, you can make a seitan uh, by just kneading by your hands. It's just gonna give you good muscles. You can just use the sharp attachment if you don't have a dough one. So there are options there for you. I'm using the sharp to blend all the ingredients, my garlic uh, with my miso. And then I'm gonna change it into a dough attachment just to knead it really well. So all the seasoning in your seitan is really in the slurry we're just making now. So here, look below the captions in exact measurements, but loads of garlic, tomato paste, which is full of umami. We've got some smooth peanut butter for creaminess, and we've got nutritional yeast, of course, for the cheesiness, and soy sauce for some extra umami. So this is our slurry. So as you will notice, if you're gonna do more and more seitan in your life, you will notice that there is a general rule in making seitan. We need some kind of liquid which we are seasoning to our preferences. So we make the ribs, we make the chicken, we make the bacon, and then this slurry gets combined with the gluten, uh, the vital gluten, and that's how it comes together into seitan. Seitan stage two, adding some vital gluten wheat, of course. Start with less, as always, and watch my previous videos for more tips. And that's it. That is our seitan. Uh, comes. Oops. Thanks God for my blender and kneading in it. But if you use your hands, well done. Extra points for you. Now all you have to do is shape your seitan, which is nice and stretchy in a rectangular shape. As long as you can cut down the strips just like that. So cut it in lengthways, few strips, and remember it will double in size. So be careful. They already smell so good. Uh, two stages, as with most of the Satan really. Um, so first we're gonna quickly uh, flash fry them just to seal them really, and then the true barbecue magic happens. So I've got my homemade barbecue sauce. I will drop you a recipe in captions, but if you don't have time, absolutely no problem. Uh, use your favorite shop bought barbecue sauce, that's absolutely fine, but this one is insane and it also takes you two seconds to make in a blender. We're gonna sear them in the oven proof dish and then we will mix this barbecue sauce with some water to create a liquid we're gonna cover the whole oven proof dish with this barbecue sauce and it's gonna sit in the oven for around an hour and it's gonna be amazing oh that's probably my best bar well actually probably the next one is even better with barbecue sauce but that is just so satisfying to see the seitan being seared and getting this lovely color and the first aromas are just coming out oh it's just amazing so again, it will double in size, guys. If you want to know my tips and hacks on Satan, uh, watch my previous video on the chicken Satan when I tell you all about the texture, structure, blender and hands. Oh, just look at this golden, golden color. It's absolutely amazing. And if you wonder how we're gonna get them red, and more rib looking like, not that I care so much if they look like ribs, but they are just insanely good. Wait for the next part, barbecue sauce is coming. Time for barbecue sauce and the last phase of making our seitan. So, this is our barbecue sauce and we're going to dilute it with water. So, um, half, half, uh, and just make a nice sauce here. In this part, you simply go to heaven. Now pour over your barbecue sauce mixed with water until your ribs are completely covered. Oh my god, it smells just like heaven. Now place some aluminium foil on top and place them in the oven for minimum 60 up to 90 minutes, 180 degrees until your most of the barbecue is fully absorbed. And if you now can stop yourself from eating and licking the screen, I don't know who you are. Mm. So good. You have to make them.